In this, the final part of our President's Quiz app, we're going to add some images to our project so that a different picture is displayed each time a multiple choice question is presented to the user. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the four images that I'm going to be using for this app onto my PC. And if you have them stored elsewhere, uh, your images, you should uh, find a way to get them downloaded to the PC. And what we're going to do is one by one, we're going to take these images and upload them into our Android Studio project. So here I have the Android Studio dashboard and I've opened up the panel, which is the project panel. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, little triangle that opens up the app and I'm going to click on the triangle for source and I'm going to click on the triangle for main. And it, we see two important folders here. One is the Java folder. If I click on that, you can see that this will give me access to the source files for the code. But uh, we're going to right now use this other folder, which is the resource folder, and we're going to put our images in there. So if I open up this uh, triangle, I can see that there are several uh, folders here with uh, images. And what we're interested in right now is the drawable folder. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to right click on that and click New uh, Image Asset. So I'm going to load my first image. So on the left, I'm showing the four pictures that need to be uploaded to Android Studio. And here is the configure image asset window in Android Studio that's going to allow me to upload the images one at a time. So I'm going to give the, the images the same name in my app that I have on my PC. It doesn't really have to be that way, but it'll be easier for me uh, just to remember. So I'm going to call the first one uh, Roosevelt uh, Churchill, I think it was. I'm going to call this an image. And in terms of what kind of image, I just use launcher icons. I'm not really sure what difference this makes, but uh, using launcher icons is, is, is fine. And now the important part is I need to upload the image by specifying the path. Okay, so I've clicked on this little ellipsis here, which has brought up this window, and I've navigated over to where the downloads folder is on my PC, and I have the four uh, files here that I want to upload. I'm going to have to upload them one at a time. So I'm going to pick this Roosevelt Churchill GIF. Now I have GIFs here. You can also use JPEGs or PNGs or pretty much any image uh, formatted file that you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I can see that the little picture has shown up over here, and I'm going to click Next. The rest of these uh, options are, are fine as they are. And you can see that uh, Android's going to go ahead and make several versions of this picture of different sizes, and that'll come in handy uh, depending on uh, what size screen we're playing the app on. So we, having this, the various uh, sizes uh, makes it easier for the operating system to resize the image if it's later uh, required. I'm going to hit the Finish button. Now the image that I just uploaded, the Roosevelt Churchill image, you'll see that there's a version of it in each of these folders. So if I look at the HDPI folder, you'll see there's a version of it in there. If I look at the uh, medium-sized DPI, there's one in there. There's the extra large and the extra extra large. They each have a, a version of the Roosevelt Churchill image. I'm going to go ahead now and use the same process to upload the other three images. Now I'm done loading all four of the images into my Android Studio app, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add each of those images uh, to each of the questions in my quiz. So here I am in the quiz.java main quiz file, and here is the section of code inside my initialization block where I have uh, all the information for each question in the quiz. And previously, we had zeroed out each of the images, but I'm going to go back now and replace the, these zeros with the corresponding uh, images that we have just managed to upload. The referencing of these uh, picture objects is a little bit tricky because uh, it doesn't correspond exactly to what's written here, so let's go through that. So I'm going to use the capital R to refer to this resource folder and then a dot, and then you can see that uh, there are several choices here. And I'm going to refer to this MIPMAP folder here because you see all of these 
pictures are inside the various MIP maps. Now, whereas on this project panel, the MIP maps have a suffix, HDPI, MDPI, etc., I'm just going to use this MIP map directly like that and not provide it a, uh, a suffix because I'm going to let the system choose which one it wants. And uh, this one is going to be here, the Roosevelt Churchill picture, so I'm just going to pick up that one here. And that uh, uniquely identifies the, uh, the picture. And I'm going to now go ahead and uh, do the same thing for the other three pictures. I'm now finished changing all the image references to their Android reference counterparts. And uh, the first time I did this, I made the mistake of using some mix of smaller and capital letters using camel case to define each of the uh, images. But it looks like in the current version of Android Studio that I have, and this is probably more likely an Android limitation, uh, you can't use capital letters. So I've gone back now and changed each of these to all smaller case, you can see that. And uh, over here, I had to go back and delete the imports that I had done previously on Carter China and Roosevelt Church, both of which contained an uppercase letter. And I've gone back and uh, re-imported those as uh, all lowercase assets. Okay, that's important. And I missed that the first time around. So here is our display question method inside the quiz.java file. And we had previously left a little reminder uh, at this location that this is where we needed to update the picture. So what I'm going to do uh, for that is I'm simply going to now uh, add a line of code that's going to display the picture on the screen. So I've added this one line of code where I'm taking the pointer to the picture and I'm using this method called set image resource that changes the picture that's displayed on the screen and I'm uh, referencing inside the questions array list uh, the picture ID that I previously saved when I loaded up each of the questions. And this is all I need to do when I display the question to display the picture. And I'm going to remove this reminder that we had previously inserted. And now we're ready to go ahead and, and test the final version of the app. We've got our app running, and we can immediately see that the picture is showing up. But one huge issue is that the picture is simply too small. Now let's go ahead and see if the pictures change as we go from question to question. Uh, this answer is Roosevelt, so I'm going to click on that and hit submit. And you can see that the next question is showing up with the next image. So the, the app appears to be working overall. Uh, the only issue is right now that we want to make this image appear much, much larger. So that seems to be the only change that, that we're going to need from this point forward. The last change we have to make is we have to make the image appear bigger in our application. I've gone ahead and moved all these other assets to the bottom of the screen to make a little bit more room for the image view. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a dummy image in here for the time being, which will help us uh, size this a little bit. So I'm going to double click on this image. Um, and this uh, source window should pick up. And we're going to load this with an, an initial image. This image is not going to show up when we start the app because our app software is going to run and uh, our app images are going to kick in but let's just put something in here. Uh, we could even use one of the images from uh, the app itself, but I'm just gonna use this uh, launcher icon uh, to help us size the image. So we see it's sitting right there. And now I, I can resize this image now, making it bigger. And you see, this is the effect that's desired. Now, I just wanna uh, show you that sometimes the image will appear uh, tiny within this larger window. And uh, if that happens, you just need to uh, change one property that's important called scale type and you want to make sure that's a fit center. Now, if you look at some of these other ones, for example, if I just pick regular center, you see that's that's not what we want. We want a nice large image there. So uh, fit center works best. There's some other choices here you can play with if you want the image in the top left and some other choices, but uh, fit center is going to be best for our application. So once we get that done, uh, let's uh, look at the final uh, product and see what the app looks like. Okay, so we see that the image does appear to be much larger as desired. And as we go through each question, uh, we see each of the uh, pictures now is uh, appropriately sized. So that pretty much ends the, uh, the design for the uh, President's Quiz app.